Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Let's continue with Phoenix Friday's Attorney Trilogy. Ah, uh, it's another investigation. Turn about Big Top, part three investigation. Let's go. I don't know why I put the intro there, I usually don't. December 29th, 3.03 p.m. Wright & Co. Law Offices. Um, Nick? What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yep, magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. And that's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but, the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearls did a magic trick? Hmm, what kind of trick was it? Let's see, it looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. <laughs> First she put her right thumb next to her left hand, and then it just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? Was it kind of like this? What? Wow! How'd you do that? Nick, you're like a real magician! See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Okay, so we need more clues and stuff, so let's get going. December 29th, Berry Big Circus, Circus Entrance. You hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. Alright, let's do it, are you ready? Y yes uh, wait. Quit your whining, let's just give this a shot already. Alright, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat! What are you doing? Gently down the stream! Come on, you know that! I'm trying my best, but Trillo, this just isn't going to work. Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're gonna have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you gonna do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trillo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret crash training course? I'm sorry. Secret crash training? Whoa. Yes, Trillo wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out his idea for a new routine. So, we were trying to sing in a round for our new ventriloquism match. In a round? You could really do that? That's incredible! See? See? Even they are surprised by the idea I told you! You're not the only ones. You haven't surprised me with your idea. Once we've got a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. Y you th think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, there it is. Now that I've got this ring back, so I'm taking one more shot at Regina. Leave her alone, she's a child. <sighs> Gross. Uh, I'm just gonna leave them alone. I don't think I need to talk to them. <laughs> December 29th, Lodging House, Plaza. Oh, it's you two. Look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? <sighs> I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Miss Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Yeah, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. Listening to that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks like you like you should be doing something. Uh, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? Francisca really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal. You're not gonna get me to backbite a woman with a whip. No way. Why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up. Poof! There she is. Don't show up. 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 Looks like she's winding up pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room? Behind the window up there? 
the acrobat's greatest room up on the third floor, it seems. Didn't we already know that? We went to that room on the first day. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start an investigation up there. So don't get any ideas of going up to the acrobat's room, got it, pal? <laughs> Francisca Von Karma. When she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Yeah, we're not allowed to go up there yet. Which is interesting, because previously we were banned from going to Moe's room, and we immediately went to Moe's room. So, you'd think you'd be able to go to Acro's room when you're banned from going there. December 29th, lodging house, first floor, Moe's room. Moe's not here. If he was here, you would have been able to tell even before you stepped into his room. I'm sure you would have heard him laughing away. Aha, 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 aha. What do you think he's laughing at when he's all by himself? I always thought he was just thinking up new jokes. Hmm, he must really love his work. Well, nothing we can do there. Do I have to talk to you? I don't want to talk to you. Let me go to the big top. December 29th, very big circus, big top. Huh? Where's Regina? I don't know. But if she's with that tiger, I don't want to find out. Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? No, 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 no. I'm just, um, allergic to wild tigers. Yep. <laughs> December 29th, Big Top, Ringmaster's room. Max and the Ringmaster had their talk in this room. That could have been when the Ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why'd he do that anyway? Was it really that cold or something? December 29th, Big Top, Cafeteria. Alright, welcome to the wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria! Yikes, he's in an awfully good mood. Alright, you know what time it is, riddle time! Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um... Something to do with onions? Um... Come on, you can answer this, it's easy! Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction? Uh, wrong, try again. Okay, what do you think, girly? Um, aha, I got it. Okay, what is your answer? Because they're in the cafeteria. What? What does that have to do with Mexican pizza? <laughs> Exactly! It's an incredibly sad place, that cafe. Ah, 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 ah. That doesn't make sense at all. The joke, the, like, the, the, the lead into the joke, the riddle, had nothing to do with the fact that there's a cafeteria. It was about Mexican Pete. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I did it! What's going on? He's being too nice. I guess we need to talk to someone, and I like Mo, so let's talk to him. Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me, I didn't think it was going to be so tough. Tough? Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd this morning I had to smash watermelons. Is that a thing? Smashing watermelons? Alright. Hmm. I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. You even used the famed no shoes, no shirt, no service joke. Exactly! How can you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw, I swear, that creep just... flew through the air? It wasn't exactly flying per se, it was more like floating? The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a psyche lock. He must be telling the truth. Uh, this is strange. There's nothing on top of the stand. Look here, Max has written on it. It must be his VIP table. Isn't it a bit small to be a VIP table? You won't be putting a 10 course meal on this. Well, you could still eat hamburgers, right? Okay, so that's not the clue I was looking for. Um. I feel like we might actually have to 
talk to Ben. I don't want to do that. I'll see if talking to, like, Max is more helpful. I don't like Max either. Hmm. December 29th, detention centre, visitor's room. Oh, my sweeties! You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. And since I'm a famed magician, they said, let's make you your very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica, the great prison escape. It would be at live. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Well, it would surely be an unnecessary ad addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking, but the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. I'd have no choice, it would be a contractual obligation, that's show business. Um, the night of the crime, you didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here is how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not just something I can do at will. I don't care what the stoogy clown says, it wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? Um... He, he did. Earlier today, at the, at the trial in the previous video, did... Did they forget that when they wrote this bit? <laughs> mm, you'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is I keep my mouth shut. No, you don't. You told us the trick. Like, like... It would have been, like, probably a half hour ago in-game. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much, it's much harder than you think. He already told us what the trick was, did they- did they just forget that? <laughs> he said- he said that they were using invisible wires. I- uh, This is so weird. I was thinking about this in court today, I've got a favour to ask of you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous! A great joke! Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But... I've won on the world stage! I won the International Grand Prix! International Grand Prix? Performers should always look to perform on the world stage! But the performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something that I can simply not tolerate. Ambition, huh? Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. Oh my, my sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest though, I've told this story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring. I'm well, sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me, I am really sick of telling this story. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica, I suppose I can tell it again. Voila! Here, take a look at this. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Just look at that fabulous stage. As the first stage that ever flew on, I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions, the acclaim. Wow. <clears throat> By the way, I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. Hey Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. <laughs> my sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Look and learn. That's what you should tell. That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail. Go on pre photo to the court record. Okay, so we do need that photograph. It's quite important. Uh, I don't want to talk to you. I'll show it to you though. I like you. Uh, not this picture. He showed it to you guys too. 
Huh? You've seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica. He really gets around. Oh my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah. He didn't just show me the picture. What do you mean? He showed me his bust, too. Let me tell you, that thing is enormous! It's in the picture, I think. He'd make us worship it every day. He made us bow to his greatness. He's got a big bust? I wouldn't mind telling you about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is embarrassing. <laughs> But yeah, that, that, um, that bust is quite important. Max's bust should be on that small table over there. There's nothing over there. Really? Oh yeah. Hmm, when was it? I'd say about five days ago all of a sudden. The bust disappeared. It disappeared? If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Max just had to put the picture up. Hmm, hey, this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a bust of me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Aww. Max G bust added to the court record. Is there anything else that's changed about this place? Nope, nothing changed that I can see. I wonder if he's actually thinking about this or if he's setting up a bad joke. Nope, nope, I'm drawing a blank here. A quiet mo is a good mo in my book. I guess there really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Well, there is this one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. He spelt tin teensy, teensy, teensy tiny. <laughs> tell us, tell us. Well, on the morning of the crime over on that bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted front and center. Piece of paper? It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see its title. Yikes! It says. To the murderer. M -m murderer <laughs> Yep, that's what it says, but the rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Um, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. Before the murder? Yes, the ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? Note added to the court record. Nick, I think we'd better follow up on this important lead. Uh, well, I know who posted it, but I forget how to follow up on the lead. <laughs> Do I have to talk to Ben? I think I have to talk to Ben. Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, um, uh, I, 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 um, that, uh, uh, I, I, it's... I guess we won't need to look at this after all. Okay, that's the default thing that Ben does if you give him something he has nothing to say, so we didn't need to talk to him about that. I guess we need to talk to him. Um, I know that you already testified in court today. You want to talk about what we saw, right? Yes. Well, at first we thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk now he acted, right, Ben? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. But then we said hello and didn't even get a reply. Not to mention he was draped in those gaudy symbols. What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm, what do you think, Ben? What? Oh, um, I would have thought it was the ringmaster. Hmm, something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. You know she's 16, right? <laughs> God, I wish she actually said that. <laughs> I'm completely serious about it, that's why I'm waiting for her even now. Really? That's so sweet. But if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you check out the tent? Ha! Huh. You haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Huh? Waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? If you had a clue, you would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. 
when your body aches for your partner's love. That's one of the best parts. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Poor Maya. She's so red, she looks like a vine-ripe tomato. Do does she? She looks normal to me. Face doesn't look very red. <laughs> so how is this new routine working out? Would you two just take a chill pill already? Our routine's a secret. We're gonna take the ventriloquism world by storm. It'll be a real revolution. That sounds incredible. Let me make one thing clear. We're not gonna take on the world just because that jerk said we should. That jerk? Max Galactica. Perform a shame for the world. Who does he think he is? Trillo, you seem to really be fired up about all this. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. You're right, you're right. Mark my words, I, Triloquist, will win the Grand, Grand Prix. It's a magician's Grand Prix, I don't think you're gonna win it. You're the man now, doll. <laughs> row, row, row your boat will be the key to a glorious victory. Um, not to rain your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up, you gotta be a part of this too. Uh, I'll try asking him about the picture, I guess. No, no, they have anything to say about it. I'm not sure I gained anything by talking to them. Which is annoying, because I didn't want to talk to them. Uh, and now I have. Maybe if I ask Max about, his, about the bust? I don't know. Do you know anything about this note? The morning of the murder, it was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I do know all about that note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company? I guess it wasn't really a company, it was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned it incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tailcoat. Really? Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Let's see... Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go and find it on your own. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. Okay, so we had to show, show Max the note because now we know that we can go rummaging through the ringmaster's coat. I believe we tried to do that in the previous investigation segment and we weren't allowed. But now we can because we know what's in there. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the pocket of the tailcoat. You know, I've got a feeling I know what that is. I bet that's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Then let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. I knew it, it fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer, I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10pm tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Tonight at 10pm? That's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. Note updated in the court record. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do next. Um, like, I know who it is, but I don't know how to find out. Oh, here we go. December 29th, Lodging House, Plaza. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I am done with the investigation of the acrobat, finally. But with Miss Von Karma... Beep beep! Boop boop! Boop boop! Whoop whoop! Whoop whoop! <laughs> Nick, what is that? That beeping sound. Hmm. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Some sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, quick. See ya, pal. I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. I mean, come on, she's, 
She's, she's, she's super cool and powerful and... Jeez, Phoenix. Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. The wind's is biting his... Ow! It's biting his lashes from a whip! Von... Von... Von Karma! She really did appear. It was a real battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? <clears throat> what can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day, the day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? <laughs> national news? You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright, your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. Ms. Von Karma, it appears you got your hands onto something big, huh? Huh, I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of victory with ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness? You must mean the acrobat, right? And what are you mean putting the summons for me to be called as a witness as we speak? It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix of Right. Yeah, 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 I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me. I can't worry about her. I've got to try and find out more information myself. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. My dad? You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course, your dad. I know you miss him. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of vip. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this or any other conversation? Then... <clears throat> then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? I have to see him again one more time. Him? I'm sure you know to whom... To whom? Whom I refer. Miles Edgeworth. What? Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth? M -m Miles Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth? Why do you even bring him up? Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma. Exactly right, it was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was... right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. Huh? Little brother? But Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. I fought against him in a few cases. But a little after that case was over, he vanished. It's your fault he is gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix of Right? I. I. Nick, what did she mean? Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case. And then, with the case after that one, He never set foot into court again. And then one day, he just vanished. So, um, yeah, Rise from the Ashes wasn't originally there, so Edgeworth's, like, previous case was Turnabout Goodbyes, which is why this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. They've tried to rewrite it so Rise from the Ashes fits in, but it kinda doesn't. All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. That was one year ago. It was a few months after after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive, I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddied the honorable name Von Karma. I'm going to find him. And then, 
I'm going to teach him his rightful place with my own two hands. N Nick, um, about Mr. Edgeworth. My, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? <laughs> she didn't... You were just talking about him. She didn't, she didn't bring him up. You're in the middle of a conversation about Mr. Edgeworth. What, what's wrong with you, Phoenix? N Nick? Miss Von Karma? What? I don't know if you're God's gift to prosecutors or not, but I've had about enough of you. Him too. What? What in the world happened? Hmm. This dog is all barking no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you to of today. Tomorrow will Ville be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. Nick? Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. You didn't bring it up. You had a conversation about this person and she kept talking about him. That's not... You didn't... <sighs> this case is annoying. <laughs> okay, we can go to the third floor now. December 29th, lodging house, third floor, Acro's room. You must be Phoenix Wright. N yes. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Mr. Acro? Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you remember this circus as well? That's right, I mainly performed in the tightrope or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform in is my wheelchair. Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all, without me. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Hmm, when if we spoiled Regina? Regina is so cute, she's truly a princess. Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Hmm... Do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. Why does he still live on the third floor if... If he can't get out of the building? Right. Like, this lodging house has multiple rooms. Why didn't he, like, move to one that wasn't on the third floor? Because he's been in a wheelchair for a while. This doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> That's awful. The accident happened during an acrobatic session, right? Um... Oh... Psyche locks? It doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well... Exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago. What in the world went on at this circus then? I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it, when I saw what I saw. What you saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. 
What did you say, Akro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see, the scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? He was flying straight up into the air. He? Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying. I'm absolutely sure, there's no doubt in my mind. N Nick. Okay, we don't have the ability uh, yet to deal with the psyche locks. We need to get some more, more clues. Go to the big top? Yeah. December 29th. Very big circus. Big top. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, Nick! Wonderful. Today's special will be Phileo Phoenix. Stay, stay, heal. Oh, Maya, Nick, it's you guys. Sorry, I guess I made a mistake. A m mistake? Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson, but I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was! I love my dad so much! I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A s star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they become a star in the heavens. It's kind of sweet. But I bet you there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. You really think so? Yeah, you will. I think. I've got a feeling that everyone is doing great up there in the sky. Everything's alright with Regina. Just to go back and clear something up, why'd you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you? It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles, it's really beautiful, you should see it. We should? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. <laughs> hmm, I wonder which one of these options I should pick. <laughs> Gladly. But of course, or I'll get it for you. Hmm. I like but of course. Leave it all up to us. Guess there's no turning down that request. <laughs> Yay! You're really gonna do it? So we have to go get the costume. I believe we have to go to Akro's room to get it, but I'm not quite sure. Ew, it's a huge pile of trash. One man's trash is another monkey's treasure. I guess you're right. Look, they're all shiny things. He's even got a motorcycle exhaust. What do they call this thing? Oh, a tuba, right? Of course it's a tuba, silly. You didn't know that. Hey, it's a picture of Regina. Well, she is a shining beauty. No objections here. Okay, so the costume wasn't there. I don't remember where it is. Um...
December 29th, Big Top, Cafeteria. What? No it's gone. There's a message on the bulletin board. I'm hungry, so I'm off to get some hamburgers. Love Mo. Mmm, hamburger. Hamburger. Just thinking about it is making me hungry. All of a sudden I need a burger bad. All of a sudden I need a new partner. Bad. But why didn't... Like, this is a cafeteria, why do you need to go somewhere else to get burgers? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I don't remember where the costume we need to get is, but we do need to get it, so, hmm. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, yeah, I know what the- yeah, uh, I know what this is. R really Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket? This piece of paper was in your pocket? Hmm, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Acroy's breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. But that's when you realise the piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. And then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did! I stuck it up there! How'd you know? Hmm... So it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. Not updated in the court record. So yeah, that's important evidence. Um... He just loves to cause nothing but trouble, that cute little monkey. But don't you think using a tiger to scare him is a bit much? Huh? Why's that? Do you really have to ask that? It's dangerous to use a tiger for that kind of thing. It's not dangerous at all. Regent's with the little kitten. I've seen plenty of kittens, and that's no kitten. Ah, oh, it's Akro. Is he in his room today? Yes, he is. We just came back from meeting with him. I hope his legs get better soon. Akko is so incredible, especially on the trapeze. The trapeze is that enormous swing you from the top of the tent, right? Yep, that's it. I really want to see him up there again. Akro the acrobat. That's strange. Akro doesn't seem to have very many nice things to say about Regina. But Regina seems to like Akro just fine. Uh, is about her dad, maybe? I might not be able to see my dad for a while, but I know I can wait until I see him again. That's the spirit, even though he won't be coming home. Don't do that, Maya. Please don't look at me that way. I'm sorry. She is so cheerful. Kind of makes you wonder if all the lights are on. Especially when she says she won't be able to see her dad for a while. Oh, jeez. Precious baby. For what I'm supposed to do next. Hmm. 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 Uh, the reason that just came up is actually that I paused the recording for several hours. So, uh, hopefully I can remember what we were up to. <laughs> um, let me just see where we were up to. Uh, we found out that this note was taken from Regina, which gives us a bit of information. I think maybe we want to show the note to Acro? Um, I mean, Phoenix is the world's worst investigator, so showing the note to Acro might be a good idea. Hmm, what's this? That's what we want to know. It was posted in the cafeteria the morning before the murder. In the... cafeteria? What happened? He suddenly looks incredibly serious. If it's got something to do with her, then you should go straight to the source. Huh? Regina. Ask her about it. Oh, we did just ask her about it. So evidently I did things wrong. Um... Cause, yeah, Akko gives me a hint about the fact that I need to ask Regina about it. 
Uh, she's out of order, technically. Doesn't matter, though. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be asking her about in that case. Because I did ask her about the note already. Hmm. Hmm. Uh... There's no denying it. Max is cool. I'm flying someday. With Max! She's already flown off into her own little world. Nick, I want to try flying too. Uh, okay. I'll think about it. Okay, that didn't help me at all. Uh... There's nothing in here. I've got to find the costume. I know money stole it, but I don't know where it is. Uh, maybe if I ask Max about it? December 29th, Detention Center. Visitor's room. They must have taken Max in for questioning again. There really isn't anything that we need to ask him right now anyway. You're right, I guess. Uh, Alright, let's go then. Okay, so that didn't help. <laughs> Um, hmm. Maybe Mo knows what I need to do next? Okay, here we go. December 29th, lodging house, first floor, Mo's room. Hmm, no, Mo's not here. What's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick. You're scaring me. Oh, ooh. oh here's money. Here's money. This is what we're looking for. Nick, it's money. That monkey's holding something. That's it, that's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Alright, time to take on this monkey attorney style. Ooh. Ooh. Which one of these is the most attorney style? I think saying stay, because that's how I say things like objection and hold it. Like, I reckon if I yelled out stay in like big red letters, that would work. Stay, money, stay. Ooh. Hey, it's working! Um, it sounded like he was confused at the end of that. Ooh. Stay! Ah! Ooh! Yikes! Ah! I don't think it matters what you actually pick there, regardless, money will attack. I knew that acting like Regina would do the trick. Nick, you. you. I swiped while money was distracted. Wow, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it, let me see it. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean? I really want to try on Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll take you in at the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. Hmm. What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well, guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Oh, come on, Phoenix. That's just rude. That's just freaking rude. Not to mention, it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. Stage costume added to the court record. Thankfully, it's not that Maya's, like, too fat for the costume. There's another reason it doesn't fit. Um... A less, uh, gross reason. <laughs> so we're gonna give back to Regina. Here we go. Here you go, Regina. Yay, thank you, you really got it back for me! Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney! It's... nothing. No wonder guys melt a mush in front of this girl. Ugh. 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 Hey, Regina. That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the lion she told us about. Oh, the one that someone killed. Gross. So we can actually talk about Leon now, which is important. Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right, my dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down, and then he opened his mouth, you know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Usually when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? <laughs> I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways. What was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon bit someone during that practice. R R Regina! Everything was alright though, right? No, it wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah. That's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. Leon and I did the court record. Okay, so that's a very important piece of information. Uh, and I believe with that piece of information, we can actually... I think, I think we have all the info we need. If we head back to Acro's room, I think we can break that Psyche lock. So let's give it a try. Take that! About the wheelchair. I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice. Yes, unfortunately acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that was a real cause, he'd have no reason to keep it secret. Acro, you're really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Uh... I happen to know that Leon is the cause of the injury, but I don't know if I have proof of that. Hang on, I might save the game and then see if I see if that works or not. I feel like I might need some more evidence, but I'm not really sure. Let's see what happens. Oh, maybe I need to talk to someone else and get some more information. Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. I know I'm on the right track, I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked? By a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay, maybe attacked is not the best word to be using. So let me rephrase that as... Battle the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle the lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. Okay, I know who that person is that he was fighting the lion to save, but we we don't know who that is yet. So yeah, I need to get some more evidence. <laughs> I had a feeling that we weren't didn't have quite enough yet, but I wasn't sure. Uh, I think if we can find Mo, we can get more information. I think he's still in the cafeteria? Maybe. December 29th, Big Top, Cafeteria. Something smells fantastic! So I know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is! It's burgers! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the Bistro du Cirque, aka the cafeteria! Mmm, it smells so good in here. And those burgers look great! She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. A little bit ableist. I mean, it's... I mean, just could have just said burger monster. You didn't need to say that... Whatever. My burgers are the best! Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce. They are absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger. One bite will send you into hamburger heaven. I bet, I can tell by the smell. Whoa, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must have some kind of special power. Now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you gonna do? That's all I've thought about these past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he heard about the murder. Akra was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. 
Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been thinking of trying on the ringmaster's shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. No. All that's left is to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know... The tragedy? You know? What, what is he talking about? Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Don't worry about it, it's nothing. Nothing at all. He must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? Yes, yes, that's it, you're right, girly! Dang, 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 correctamundo! Doesn't it mean ding? No, I mean no disrespect to you, but are you lying to us? <laughs> no, not at all. Why would you think that? Just the way you said, if everyone can get over the tragedy, seemed a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Eek, 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 eek. Mo, I'm right, aren't I? Psyche looks and psyche looks and psyche looks. Hmm, so now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, eh? Well, I do know about something that happened six months ago. Get over it? Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at this circus? Okay, okay, there's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat instead! Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Uh... Actually, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident? This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would it? I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during practice, right? How did you... I heard from Regina, I just told you. I told him so many times. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like putting her head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo. Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this too. He's involved, huh? I must be talking about... Mo, is this the person that you promised you wouldn't say anything? Uh, I think it's Acro? Must have been Acro, right? Uh, 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 how'd you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the Ringmaster. No. No way. I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh, sorry. Yeah, we got healed up. Delicious. Not all the way, though. Thankfully there's another Psyche Lock, when we do that one we should be healed all the way. It's just like you said, you know, the accident. Did someone... die? No, but it would have probably been better if he had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Coma? All he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. A brother? They were an acrobatic team of brothers. Acro and Bat. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Um, who is Acro's younger brother? Sean Dingling. Everyone always called him Bat. 
He fell in love with Regina. Trying to win her love is his downfall. Okay, hang on. He was in love with Regina too? Age 22. Still gross. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden that blurts out, Let me perform with Leon! Why do you do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was... smiling. Hey, you mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. Some sick grin. No way! That's impossible! A smirking lion? A flying murderer? Why does it seem like it's always Mo who catches all of these incredible events? Nick, can lions smile? Um... He never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. Also ACAB. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truth wants us to be in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shaka 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 shaka. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Ah, ah, ah! Achoo! Achoo! Nice, what a wonderful sneeze! Huh? You think so? <laughs> you sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana peel. That's basic clownmanship. Curly, I know you gotta understand that. Nick, I think I make a good clown. Other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer. <laughs> Does Regina sneeze with Pepper too? She does! Bat would always tease her with Pepper. Bat? From my point of view, those two always look so perfect together. Um. Okay. He's an adult. God, this is messed up. They look perfect together, huh? Alright, so we have all the clues we need now to break that other psycho lock. Hey, Regina. I'm sorry all the men are gross toward you. Such as that man, for example. Ah, oh, Mr. Wright. Back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Wait, was that someone else? We're back because Akro's hiding why his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know. Oh well, it seems you've got things you want to talk about, so fire away. Uh, I believe, yeah, what we gotta do is just break the psycho okay, look. Take that. Take that. Okay, we saw the first bit of this already, so I'll just fast forward it. We know that the accident was caused by Leon. Leon. Yeah, we saw this. We saw this. Okay, you had to fight it to save someone. That someone is Sean, your brother. Pat, it was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's why I figured it out. A slip of the tongue? Anyways, they're an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Cut down together? That was where he slipped, and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up at the centre of the same accident together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Akro's last psyche lock. This must be one incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Akro, I know you were still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like much is the reason you're being evasive. 
It's Regina. Regina Barry is the reason. Re Regina. You always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Saying things like she is cruel? Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you? Twice. <laughs> Yours and serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack Bat, are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? <sighs> maybe I overdid it again. But if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. The proof is this note that says, To the murderer, that somehow got into Regina's pocket while she was giving Acro his breakfast. This... Where'd you get it? I already showed it to you. You know I have it. Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. I always take Acroy's breakfast in the morning. You wrote this, and you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. I wonder you got all, like, the newspapers to clip out the letters to make to the murderer and stuff. Because if you look at the note, it's clearly designed like that, with cut-out magazine letters. My legs, my legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago, my younger brother, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. Oh god. Oh god. This case... Is, it, what, why, why is everyone dating her? That's insane! Didn't you know how dangerous that is? And that he's an adult? He all thought he was being stupid too. But that line was very old to begin with. And age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened? He just wanted to take her out to the movies. Poor Bat. When Leon chomped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up... What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. Bat and Regina. They were such great friends. Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross, it's covered in blood. This scarf. It was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. Oh! When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know, Mo said the same thing! What do you think it all means? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Ms. Von Karma? I've already heard everything. So hand over the scarf. But the scarf is evidence in the trial. That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I've served a summons to Acro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro, Bill talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? Come, Acro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. 
And that's the end of that one. So, um, yeah, this case is actually closer to the end than I thought it was. Uh, we only have the next trial segment to go. There's no more investigation. So, um, next time we'll start the trial. I'm guessing it's in two parts, because the trials usually are. Um, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me see. Yeah, 4-1 trial. So there'll be, there'll be a 4-2 as well. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye!